Hello and welcome to the Context Needed Podcast. It's me, Kyle, joined with... The Trash Man. Trash the trash. trashiest of trash man. I've told you, Jaffa Cakes are the best fucking biscuits. Not and biscuits. that's the end of this podcast. We'll see you guys there. Yeah. <laughs> see you next week, boys! <laughs> with Ryan. How are you doing? I'm not bad. And Shooty McShooty, super rare gacha, now has three barrels instead of two. Ollie. Yeah, yeah, we've upgraded. <laughs> three barrels, two scopes. <laughs> he likes to fire all of them at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I shoot I this tape- one with my penis. <laughs> I tape them to each appendage. I just sit staring at doors, waiting for someone to fuck around and find out. I can just imagine you being like that fucking lobster outfit you had for Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> just with the guns. Well, it, Hello. It, it, it's it's the same kind of vibe as the mess with the crabo get the stabo meme. <laughs> yeah. Now we need to we yeah, need to obviously go kind of straight into this one. It's a very important one. But just before we do go into the very, very important matter, there is one thing I'd like to ask you guys, because Becky had to go to Ikea a few days ago. Now, obviously, whenever you go to Ikea, you deal with all the bullshit, but when you leave, there's always that food area. Now, pretty much everyone has something they have to buy from that food area. No. Nah, so I've, I've, I've got three things that I pretty much always grab from there. I can guess one. Because it's everyone, and that's going to be the meatballs. Everyone. I fucking the hate meatballs. the meatballs. Okay, that's impressive. <laughs> I, I really don't like... That's them... the end of the podcast, guys! <laughs> See you next <laughs> yeah, week! Their, 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 meat, their meatballs taste like fucking rubber gum kind of thing. And, they're, and they're not even biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even biscuits. <laughs> that's why I don't like them. No, so I... I Can't do... dunk the fuckers. Oh, nine times out of ten, grab a hot dog. Because hot dogs taste the okay. same no matter what you buy. But... I actually just realized I've got the packet right here. I have to, every time I go, buy a big old bag of dime bars. <laughs> Fair enough. Because it's the only place that sell those that it's like, I'm going to eat all of these in one day and feel like shit the next. <laughs> so I'm surprised you guys uh, yeah. don't have anything that you like get from there when you leave. I mean, I It's the only good thing about going to IKEA. Right? They, Usually um, depression from the amount I've spent on flat pack furniture. Yeah. <laughs> PTSD for getting lost for six hours. PTSD for like seeing ten families with kids in their fucking pajamas, all going backwards and forth in the wrong direction, getting everyone's fucking way. And then, a, then yeah. you see a woman, a man in a woman, and she's walking back. A man in a woman. <laughs> yeah, in. my man's and a woman. <laughs> usually, usually, usually in the bathroom suite of one of the rooms, and you're like, "Whoa, <laughs> stop shagging! This is IKEA, man. This ain't your own man." There's always, there's always a family or a couple who's having a fucking dispute over. Yeah. I told you we should have picked up those fucking picture frames, fucking nine miles away no, at the, the start the, of the shop. The best, the best argument I always, I always see is the wife really liking something. And the bloke, there's always a bloke who obviously has no fucking clue about DIY or carp, like any kind of like construction or anything like that. He's obviously like some office worker who sells like fucking insurance or something. And he's there and he's got a fucking tape measure on his belt and he's like, no, but it, you see, it's going to make, make this distance here and this distance here. And like, you can listen into him like, your maths is way fucking wrong. And he's just—he's yeah. basically just trying to bring up bullshit because he doesn't want to spend that much money on this fucking wardrobe the wife wants, and they start arguing over shit. That's the one I always see in here every time I go. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, no, I didn't buy it from IKEA except for actual furniture. Yeah, I, I hate buying furniture from IKEA because it reminds me I've got to fucking build the shit and. Especially when we moved in here, I think I literally spent, because we had no furniture, I spent three days, like, it was like a full-time job of building fucking IKEA furniture. I don't have See, a problem with building IKEA furniture. I, I quite enjoy it. Yeah. See, I quite enjoy it. It's okay. The first few things you're building. But when you're building, oh, if you're building a house worth for, of shit, fuck that. For three days straight, literally, from fucking nine in the morning till nine at night, pretty much, of 
IKEA building. Yeah. It gets, especially when you don't have any power tools, no electric like electric drills or anything like that to help with like screwing things in all by hand. It fucking sucks by day three. I'm okay with it the first does, thing, yeah. but after that, it's like it it's really fucking frustrating. <laughs> Monkey smash, <laughs> fucking IKEA cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's get on to the very serious, very real topic at hand. There will be bloodshed. Yep. And there will be sacrifices. There will be divorce. But I think we're all happy with the risks. Is that correct? Do we all consent to the risks? I'm, consent. I'm consenting to the risk that I... you may not have a taste in biscuits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to all understand that this could very well cancel the podcast in its entirety for people's yeah, decisions like, and it, it, this will be, it'll be the, the making or breaking of a, a lot of people we actually get legally sued for a <laughs> we, shit we are, tasting biscuit we put a fucking restraining order on each other so we're not within a so much distance of each other <laughs> okay. and so my favourite cake is Cuthbert the Caterpillar oh, biscuit is Cuthbert the Caterpillar <laughs> thank, thank you, <laughs> see you next week See you next week. Oh, I can't see there being any issues with that statement. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fuck you, Marks and Sparks. Well, so let's... how are we going to do this? Do you want to... We've compiled a few. Are we just going through one by one and saying what tier we think they're in? Or? We're going to go We're gonna go through them. There's probably going to be a few that we're probably pretty much just being able to whack into a tier straight away, so we're not going to worry about discussing it. But there's probably going to be a few in there where we're, there will be serious discussion, let's face it. But... Okay. For everyone at home, because there's three of us trying to get it showing an actual tier list, it's a pain in the ass with the way we've got our setup. So we've got tiers from double S all the way down to F, but then we also have trash and not even a biscuit. They're all the tiers we have. Free criteria, flavor, texture slash structure, and dunkability. Okay. And we also have a very long list of biscuits oh yes <laughs> we will we will and start this isn't even all the biscuits we could think of <laughs> no this is just the ones which we wanted to do <laughs> we are going to start off at plain jane the vanilla tab on en hentai the missionary position in the sex the digestive now okay for me i'm I, i'm a solid b to a for this it's just mm. no rander all round. I respect the digestive, but I don't like it. It's, Fair enough. I used to kind of like them, so for me, it lands more in like a maybe a C, a D. Like I don't dislike them, I just don't like them. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah it... If you're in shop and you're like picking biscuits, most likely there's going to be more biscuits other than digestive. Yes. Yes. And you're going to pick them out. Yeah. So, I think because obviously we were saying B, C, and you said C, D. C sounds like yeah. a good place for that. To I'd go probably for me. say push it to a B just because the digestive is the basis for so many more great biscuits. Like True. a low B. I I I'm okay with that if you're okay with that, Ollie. He was indifferent. He's now he's now he's now pulling up the data my, sheets. Sorry, he's my, like uh, my internet is totally shitting itself at the moment. I haven't oh, heard right, a word you guys have said in the past like 30 seconds. <laughs> we're, we're, we're saying we're going to pop it in the B category because it's the basis I, I, for so guys, many of us. You guys like them, so I'm I'm happy with that. Okay. Cool. Now, we're going to go... I'm not going to go through this list as I've got it because at the end of the day... it. Oh! oh. I'm just going to... In the arms of an angel. <laughs> I'm going to trick us onto this one because... It appears we have lost. Uh, F's in the chat for... F's in the chat, boys. F's, F's in, the, in chat. the chat for Ollie. He's just... He, he's pissed off that we pick, put the digestives in beat here. That's why. He just left. We've we've waited so long to do this. He's not He's not ill anymore as well. We're all ready to go. And then his fucking internet's like, Yo, fam. Nah. And I'm ahead at. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do, 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 that just 
<laughs> that, see, it's now really good. Now, was, like, you go nice and smooth. Was, it just dropped, completely cut out. I don't know what I missed. We, we, we had Fs in the chat. We were saluting. <laughs> oh, man. It's all right. I'm back. I'm back. Right, well, Thank you for the Fs, everyone. <laughs> so where were we? <laughs> I'm going to go to a complete oddball. I'm not going through this list, as we put it, because otherwise we're just going to be so, doing the same biscuit throughout. Have I missed anything? Because all, nope. all I've seen was digestive. All We've just digestive done digestive. Indeed. So, okay. we're going to go to the BN. Oh, okay. <sighs> now, okay, question, because my only experiences of BN are about 25 years old. So, okay. do they still do the chocolate BNs? Or are That's they the, the only ones? one I care about. Yeah, it's the <laughs> only one worth, worth, a, worth a like, dime. Now, the issue, okay. the issue is, personally, I think they taste very good, but... They are the worst for dunkability because they're already ever so slightly soft anyway. They're big as well. And they're too big for most yeah. cups. I find they have poor qu- like they're 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 not compatible with tea in my opinion. If I'm gonna have a BN, I'm gonna have a BN and I'm gonna have a big ass fucking glass of milk. I'm yes, gonna sit there munching on the fuckers, and I'm gonna take a take a swig of yeah. milk after I've munched. The BN is it. is not a Dunkin' biscuit. No, for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I, it's definitely I a munch. Say... Take a swig, like a nice uh, for wash me, it down. Yeah, yeah, for me, I'd say it's a C personally. I I would also say it's a C. I would agree. I yeah, it's I a don't... high C. It's a high yeah. C. There's nothing that bad about it, but no. they're not great either. It's it's just, it's, it's again, kind of along the same lines as a digestive, but a different type it's like if yeah. you see them and they're on offer you're probably gonna pick them up yeah but, but you can get there's many other choices that are better. equivalents which are the same biscuit but just a cheap brand because the yeah. bn's the mcvitties one yeah yeah now let's move on we have hobnobs now I haven't Drink had hobnobs in a very, very long time I, because I ate them too much. I am not a hobnob man personally. I don't like the texture of them. They they yeah. get they catch in your teeth, and they're I just don't, I don't know I just don't, I like a either a crunch or a soft biscuit, but they're somehow stuck in the middle. Yeah, they, mm. they kind of crunch, mm. but then they've got a. Sort it's because they're like a, they're different. like an oaty style, aren't they? They're they are. They're like, they're like a conglomerate them. of oat, basically. So as a yeah. result, I'm not very keen on hobnobs. They they get a very low score from me. Standard hobnobs, hobnobs again. It's a good base of other biscuits, but it's not quite as like good as the digestive. Yeah, see for me, see, for me, flavor wise, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I think. I, I when they first came out I ate so many of them that I just completely turned myself off the flavour for them and like mm. again like the texture I'm okay with the texture but I do also agree they just get especially now I've got fillings mm. and shit they, they really are get painfully deep. annoying to eat yeah. I so, personally I'd go with an E I was going to say yeah. as well it's not but, worth it they don't deserve F because they, it's no, more no. thing of my they're not, face yeah they're not they're not bad they just have too many flaws, kind of thing. Yes, you, you yeah. go to dunk them and it takes up half your tea while you're dunking yeah. it. <laughs> now we are yeah. going to evolve on the hobnob okay. still because I have a completely different opinion on the milk chocolate hobnob. I will just say now that my stance on any hobnob is the same, so I'll leave this one to you guys. Okay, because I, I say, actually quite say, like the milk chocolate hobnob. It's nowhere near, like, I'd say C maximum. No. But I think because of that chocolate to kind of bring that oatiness together, I think it works for me. Again, yeah. it's a shit dunker, though, in my opinion. It just drinks your tea. Yeah. It just drinks your tea. Drinks your tea, but then it's it's like... The, the chocolate kind of like gives it that little bit of sweetness that it needs to make it a decent biscuit. Yeah. But it's 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 yeah, it's not it's not quite as good as like a digestive or a chocolate digestive. Yeah, I, I still consider yeah. it like a, a C maximum kind of thing, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, yeah. C. Okay. Now Go on. I think we're gonna have the first double S. The crunch creams. Crunch just cream. S, double S. Just the fucking standard, double S, mate. The, the normal Fox's Crunch Creams. 
I don't know what those are, actually. <laughs> what? Are... I genuinely don't know what those are. So they're basically just foxes. Like I don't even know what the biscuit is. Let me. I'm just gonna Google them. Just Maybe Google them because it, it wouldn't surprise me name. if you know what they are because they're very popular. And but pretty much as soon as those things are on offer, you but I buy them in the truckload. You are, oh, mate. You're filling. You're filling your fucking shop. Okay, and I, have, up. I have never seen those in my life. Okay, well, they are going to be an S tier and a double they're, S tier. They're sorry. double. Uh, they, I will say S. they look very good. And I, they I are. Th these are the kind of biscuits. You know, what other biscuits you can open it, have a few, put it away, come back to it later. It's yep. physically impossible to do that with the crunch cream. Physically impossible. You eat the whole fucking packet. Yeah. And if you I don't, you that. are a weak human. Did we put the cho double choc crunch creams in the list? Uh, the the there's just... chocolate crunch creams are in there, yes. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, We yeah. will come to them. We will come that's to okay. them. And I think now we're going to come to one which is... um. It, it segregates the country, I've noticed, even though at least 50% of people are wrong. The Jaffa Go cake. On. Well, I mean, that just goes straight into not a biscuit. Not exactly. A biscuit. It's not a Under, fucking biscuit. It and goes then, hard when it's stale. It's yeah. a cake. <laughs> it's a cake. It's literally now, called a Jaffa fucking cake. Yeah. Don't tell me it's now a this, biscuit. And, the, and this is the best thing. I really like Jaffa cakes, but they're not a fucking biscuit. <laughs> it's not a biscuit. The way I see it is, if I was to get a cupcake and just slice a section out of it to get a disc, that wouldn't make that a biscuit. It's still no, a piece of cake. it's still a cake. Yeah. And that is exactly what a Jaffa cake is. It's 100%. a very dense cake. Yes. A dense cake that can get away with having the form factor of a biscuit, but it's not a biscuit. Is it, what you've got to, what, The way you've got to think about it, is it possible to dunk it? Not at no. all, because it's a cake. Now, with the biscuits, we've said the dunkability isn't good for them, but you can still dunk them. Yes. And that's the, that's a key point, I think, yeah. that people need to remember, is you can't... If you dunk a Jaffa cake, it just fucking melts away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's a bit tea. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, get a spoon! Get a spoon! Fucker! <laughs> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to another biscuit, because I remember, I think we was at work, and I was talking about this. And it was a biscuit that I was saying that I used to dunk when I was younger. That was actually I actually prefer dunked than standard, and that's the Oreo. Uh, I mean, Oreo for me is a solid double S, and an augmentation on the Oreo is also the double stuff Oreo. It's pretty much the same biscuit, just slightly more stuff. <laughs> it's <laughs> for me. With I I fully respect that you can dunk an Oreo, and that's what people do. I personally don't dunk Oreos. Oreos for me are a biscuit that you eat and then ha wash them down with milk for me. See, this this is the but thing. I, I, I fully I'm, respect everyone, that they're dunkable. Everyone talks about dunking them in milk. No. Yeah. Tea. I dunked them oh. in tea back Ooh. when I was in college. And this was one of those weird things where we had a packet. That is weird. And we had tea. And I went, everyone dunks them in milk. What do they taste like dunked in tea? And I had it dunked in tea and... <laughs> A whole nother fucking world was opened. I was I was that fucking meme of Narnia <laughs> Will in it that dunk? moment. <laughs> and I it's promise you, it's just a dunk theory. So so a, 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 the the Oreo as a standard for me, I would say is a B to an A, but B. dunked in T, I would put it to an S. I would put regular Oreos A or S. Double stuff are a solid double S for me. See, Oreos aren't my game. They're not my bag. It's, an, it's a standard biscuit, not my bag. Now, today, I had a like an iced tea with Oreo in it, like a bow, like a you know a boba tea with the balls yeah, in yeah, it, yeah, yeah, with Oreo in it, and holy shit, like that was just like orgasm in my mouth. It's the whole cookie but, and cream type mix, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like Oreos. Mm. On their own, I can't eat them anymore because I just like, I don't know. The flavor's just a bit too much. Like when you stick them in ice cream or milkshakes and shit like that, that's a fucking. So good. I like it. It's got, it's got that extra factor. Like you couldn't chuck a digestive in ice cream. Yeah, that won't work. I think that's the the. As much as like people like to dunk I, and eat them on their own, I think Oreo respectably should be like around an A for its. Of a platform use. Yes. I think it, it's a very versatile biscuit. 
Yes. Because well, obviously, Ollie, you're saying <laughs> SS. I was saying S or A. You were saying A, Ryan. A. Is everyone cool with that I, being an S? Because that's the medium between us all. Yeah. yeah, I'd say an S. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to another staple, another standard, another one where your grandma would always have them in her cupboards the rich tea. Now, oh, good I biscuit. Am. A lover of we know, tea. we now, know, got... we know. Ollie is an evange- an evangelist of the rich tea. But, <laughs> but the strange thing is, is that I do not dunk rich teas, even though that seems to oh, be no. a fun thing. I don't dunk. I mean, hell, it's in the name. People like to dunk them in tea. There's two reasons why I wouldn't want to dunk a rich tea. First of all, they go quite soggy very easily. Yes. And also, when you break them, they become bitty, and you get all little floaties in your tea. And no one likes floaties in their drink. I, I, yes. no, I see. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person where I have big enough mugs where there is no such thing as breaking a biscuit to dunk it. You dunk and you Couldn't eat get that a rich bad... tea in hours before. Yeah. To. Well, I've got I've got massive mugs and a big old fucking mouth, so I can dunk an entire <laughs> yeah. digestive and Kyle's put that whole got thing the in bad boy. Mug. <laughs> like, if I pass you my mug, Kyle, you get it, and it's just like... This looks like thing. a shot glass. <laughs> it'll, it'll look like a stacky cup. <laughs> <laughs> but I think for me, the, the rich tea isn't a super flavourable biscuit so i'd say the highest i could really as much as i love it i couldn't reasonably put it above a Mm -hmm. but what i love about them is despite being fairly subtle you can eat a billion of them they never sit too heavy i you could pass me one at any time of the day and i could always eat a rich tea Mm. that is that is true because they're not that dense they are they're very very light unlike unlike some of the biscuits on this list where you eat so many of them, and you do get quite stodgy because of them. The rich tea, I don't think, would yeah. ever be able to do that. The only, the only thing the rich tea will do will give you cotton mouth if you eat too many of them without drinking anything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like them dry. I, I'm because I'm I'm not even a big dunker on biscuits. There's only a handful no. of biscuits that I even consider dunking, and I for, can eat a billion rich teas. Yeah, for me, I would definitely put them personally with B. Because they're along the same kind of scale as a digestive for me. They're always there, always kind of a good thing to have. You wouldn't, you don't go crazy with them, but you're always happy to have them, kind of thing. That's the that's yeah. where I would put them personally. I I put them at B as well, but I won't put them as high. Like w- when we said the digestive was an upper B, you know, I won't put it above the digestive because. It, the, where the digestive's a platform for many other biscuits, the rich tea's just a lone gun in the wilderness. It is. Yeah. To be fair, I'm sure they did at one point do um, milk. I'm, I'm sure I had a milk chocolate rich tea and it ruined its entire... I don't think I've ever seen them. It, I've, I've had them once and I remember trying it and it just ruining the entire kind of simplicity of the rich tea, personally. So are we... Are yeah. we I know you want to go A. There's two of us that want to go I B. Will, Are we I, cool? will, I will concede with B. Cool. Right. Now we're going to go for one that I think could cause arguments. Go on. The Bourbon. Because I, I... Like, like you are with the rich tea, Ollie, that's what the Bourbon is for me. Yeah. I've always loved the Bourbon. I can have them pretty much at any time you give me one. I love dunking them in tea. You can break them apart and have like the cream and then the biscuit. That they are like, a, then for me personally, they'd be A tier, S tier, straight up, just because of how how much I can do with them with what they are. But I know there's other people out there who are wrong, who dislike them in their whole. <laughs> I. I honestly don't like bourbon biscuits. I, I, if it was for me, I'm afraid I would have to put them as low as about C or D. It's one of those ones I've got nothing against them. Mm-hmm. Like I, if I eat them, I don't think, oh, this isn't very nice. It's just it's not offensive. They just don't do. They just do nothing for me. There's just I don't know. They. I think it's because I expect them to taste chocolatier. I think. Yeah, I think the issue is is people put the people for some reason call them chocolate bourbons, but they're not called chocolate bourbons. No, I think they're they are technically made biscuits. with cocoa. 
Yes, they have cocoa in them, but and they're I not think, called chocolate bourbons. And I think I a lot think of people do I think that's why that. I don't like them. Yeah. Because I expect them to be chocolatey, and then they're not, and then I feel betrayed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand that. I do understand that, because I'm sure there were some bourbons out there, like, I don't know if Foxes did it, or like other companies did it, where they would call them chocolate bourbons, because they had cocoa in them, but it's like... They have a hint of chocolate, and that's it. They're not a chocolate biscuit. Yeah. Have you ever had a bourbon cream? I find that I always, like, the bourbon's, like, such a... Like Ollie says, it's deceitful, because there's so many variants of it where you find different companies, like, putting their that's different twist on it. As well. Yeah. I like, I find the bourbon cream, bourbons. which are, like, the same size as a custard cream, I don't are like actually them. nicer. I, don't I think like they're nicer ones. than a normal bourbon. But I think the bourbon's a decent biscuit, you know, does its job. Yeah. See, now... It's not, yeah, it's not quite a winner, I've, though. I'm very... There's a lot of different, like you said, um, bourbon biscuits in different places. Mm. Like, I've tried the expensive ones, the brand ones, and all that. But funnily enough, the best ones I've ever had and always had, Tesco's own brand bourbon biscuits. 40p a packet or something daft like that, and they have... The best crunch and the best creamy center than any of the others I've had. But mm. let's let's rate it. So I I would like I said personally S to A. You were saying what was it D to E or as what was it? I C or D. I would say C or D. I, what I, about what about you? D Ryan? feels mean to be honest. Maybe C. I, I'd say probably C. say I'd probably say C, but that's purely going off the Belmont biscuits, bourbon creams, or their bourbons, which okay. I think are just you know. There. So if we take the average yeah. of that, we're going B. into a B tier there. If that's all right, we're yeah. wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go to the good old American favorite, the cookie. Oh, I mean... now are we talking Maryland cookie or just cookie in general? We're talking cookie in general. We're we're putting pretty much everything into the one of this. Cookie if light. we're honestly, if we're talking the absolute potential of a cookie it's got to be a double s for me because there are some incredibly good cookies out there like the it's melt a, in the middle ones mate it's a very good base cookie. yeah a very fresh cookie crispy around the edge gooey in the middle melted yeah. chocolate inside still see there's um that is like, i think like we've said with like the um the kind of application of it there's there's some really good ones like i know tesco do some really good tesco finest white chocolate and honeycomb cookies yes those are good and mm, bang oof, it oof, they're they good. are they're the kind of they're ones really where like, i can feel my teeth falling out but i'm gonna keep eating them yeah <laughs> yeah they're good i like those ones I chewy think, i think we can all agree then that the cookie is a cookie double s has to be a double s yeah there's so yeah. many variants like we could yeah. there are just some... be, you'd be doing a whole other like tier list just, just for, for cookies, cookies. yeah <laughs> I yeah. think that's, there, there's so many variants of cookie. I think like things like Maryland cookies. I don't think I could put much above like a B. I honestly don't think Maryland cookies are. They're nice, but like they're not great. As, the as standard as as Marylands, yeah. Be. But when they start getting a bit fancy and doing some extra shit the, in there, the, like the melt got, in the middle ones. Well, they've got like I've the not double, tried those. They've got the double chocolate and then the triple chocolate, where it's just like a double chocolate Maryland is just a Maryland with more chocolate chips. Then the triple one is the cookie itself has cocoa in the biscuit and then there's yeah, it's chocolate. A chocolate biscuit <laughs> with chocolate chips <laughs> yeah yeah then i think i think they've got a melt in the middle or one of the brands who does cookies i mean this is what i mean there's so many cookies i can't say so exactly. yeah we'll, we'll have to we'll move on for that we, we all agree double s 100 percent. yeah 100%. curveball jammy dodger for me trash trash I would disagree. It's a, it's an okay biscuit, but like a, a very key factor of biscuits is dunkability. Now, unfortunately, it is still a biscuit down to like actual scientific testing. Oh, it is a biscuit. <laughs> it's, it's not really a cake. We've, we've run the, we've run the tests. Not... We've got the yeah. official tests in place. <laughs> the data uh, is in. One, one second. Oh, I've got the data you here. Can't... It's definitely wait, wait, wait. a biscuit. I... Wait a second, wait a second. Let me do the squat. So, we've got the lie detector tests have come in. (laughs) A jammy dodger is a biscuit. It's a trash biscuit, but it's a biscuit. (laughs) It's a good biscuit. I'd say it's probably like 
teetering at the top of trash because it is not dunkable. You can't eat that shit with tea because it's basically like eat, like drinking your tea whilst munching on your jam on toast. <sighs> there... That's what I think the best way to explain it. A jammy dodges for me are for five year olds and nobody else. Oh, I I mean, them, yeah. Shit. Wait, why does Becky still it's, eat them? It's, then? it's it's a party. It's a party biscuit. Like you're at a party, there'll be a plate with no, jammy dodges no, no, no. in we're, there. We're we're coming to the party biscuit next. Uh, but I was going to say there's you're, only you're, one you're, party. You're you're saying <laughs> that they're just above trash. We're both saying they're trash. Teaching on the top. I, I think we have to put them trash. in trash on the medium there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the majority <laughs> trash. I will happily <laughs> allow this, as much as Jay is messaging me disagreeing. <laughs> it's either yeah, but, a high but, trash or a low F. Yeah. <laughs> well, this this is the thing, Jay. You have no power here. Yeah, you're, you're just... <laughs> it's over! It's not you, it's me! Wait, it's definitely you! <laughs> now, no, wait, it's definitely you. On the subject of parties, party rings. It's not a, it's not a party without a party yeah, ring. Yeah, not a party without party rings. Simple as. 100%. Uh, for me, I would say party ring is a solid... High A or an S for me. I, I was yeah. going to go solid. S. I was going to go solid A because the issue the issue I have with them is if it isn't a party and you eat party rings, they are not oh, still as good. No, good, they're in still my good. Opinion. No, mate, I I smash party rings. See, on the I, regular, I, I, I can, I can party smash, rings, but you just feel depressed. Well, this is I can, like... I can smash them. Oh, but I think the issue the issue I have with them and the reason why I think they should be an A as well. Is you cannot dunk them. Yeah, again, it ruins the icing. failure of the biscuit world. It, ru- it ruins I, the icing. I think. Even though I would never want to dunk one, and I'm not one for dunking biscuits, I will concede that they are not dunkable. Yeah, even if you wanted to. That's that's the reason Similar why I to think the they d- should be an Dodger. A. <laughs> Similar to the jammy dodger and its non dunkability, but it's actually a solid biscuit because unless you like, you can't legally have a party without them. Oh yes, hundred well, percent. Like. Another thing I love about the pie ring is what it does make up in the structure of dunkability, it makes up for in texture because you've got the smoothness of the icing and the nice yes. geometric the, grid Yeah, the, the rigid yes. on the... Mm. I mean, oh, I let's, mean let's, let's face it, we, all, we, we can all agree, it's not, a, it's not a working class or lower class party without party rings and it's not a lower class pretending to be middle class party without after eights. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Even so, though it's seven yeah. o'clock. So we are are we in, are we in agreements because obviously the dunk, wanna, in the flavorings. What, where where do you put it, Ryan? Where, where would you say? What do what do what do you guys said? We said like I A or S. Saying, I, I, was saying A. A. I was saying yeah, I was saying A. I would say high A, low S. Yeah, high, well, yeah, high A, low S. I mean, 100%. if you're if you're hosting a party and you've told everyone you're hosting a party, all you're going to expect is a knock on the door if you've not got pie rings in that fucking house. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 then what's going on here? No, 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 no. that's too, there's that's no too friendly. Rings, if there's no party rings, it's... FBI, open up! Open up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I shot him! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and now we're going to go from the party to the coffee shop with Biscoff. Oh, now. Good biscuit. See, I, I Biscoff. remember the first, the first Biscoff I had, I fucking hated it. And then I grew up. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> now I've got a lot of time for Biscoff. There, mm. at first glance, they seem like a fairly generic biscuit, and I hadn't actually tried them until I got with Danny, and they are now a staple of mine. And I also say there's now two variants of Biscoff because there's now the Biscoff creams, which by the way, I want to try a Biscoff cream. I've not, I've not tr- done it yet. Uh, the reason why I didn't put them in here was because I know me or me or Ryan haven't tried them at all. Yeah. So. Uh, you you will have to take my word that the Biscoff creams are a solid S. Very okay. solid S. See, definitely Biscoff though, again, it's like the Oreo. It's got that it's got that, you know, it's got that large workload. People are making well, fucking cakes out of that shit. Donuts. Well, it's donuts. Got, there's Biscoff spread milkshake, and all that kind of stuff. Isn't ice cream. There? I mean no. me and Jay, me and Jay, we got some Biscoff uh, some Biscoff. Yeah, it's Biscoff, isn't it? Got some yeah. Biscoff, crushed it all up. Sprinkle that in your vanilla ice cream, Cornish vanilla ice cream. You know we're going premium. Yeah. Kelly's, here. Kelly's, little bit. Of, uh, I think it was yeah. Uh, caramel sauce, or we used um, 
salted caramel sauce that we'd got. We were like, yeah, we're going, we're going well full salted. middle class. They're, they're really trying to. I mean, we. I keep they calling are. you middle class, Ryan. You really aren't actually like diversifying yourself away from this right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it comes to biscuits, Kyle, in like premium sweets i don't fuck about all right <laughs> <laughs> i will break the bank people pay for sky instead of paying for their kids school dinners me i'll go and buy fucking biscuits instead yeah <laughs> fuck the kid they can starve no well, they can take some biscuits <laughs> there you go have, take a couple of digestives you whiny bastard <laughs> uh, t- two things i'll say about biscoff comparing it to oreos i would say i've had some stuff in with oreo which hasn't been good I have never had a yeah, bad. I think Biscoff a lot more thing. I will say though, the fad is a little bit irritating because that's yes. all you ever see now. And it's that's just people like, oh, I think the slap thing... a fucking Biscoff, and it's like, don't be wrong. I think the reason, biscuit, but the reason out. why I couldn't say it was a double S tier is mainly because I couldn't get a pack, an entire pack of Biscoffs, and sit there and eat the entire lot. Because oh, I, I I love the taste, <laughs> but it can overload. It, it's not that it overloads; it's the texture of it, and the more of it you mm. eat, it kind of like coats the inside of your mouth and has this it weird gums feel. Up. Yeah, yeah, and it has this weird feeling on the inside of your mouth because it happened to me actually when I worked with you the first time, Ryan. There was a guy who worked on one of the other teams. He's fucking obsessed with biscuits. Well, no, he, he said he liked them, and his sister bought him literally one of those Costco crates full with like something like two thousand Biscoff biscuits. So he bought one of the crates in. So he had like over a hundred in his desk to give away. And I went, God. "Go for it. Just keep throwing them at me. It don't mind me." But it got to the point where after I've had about eight or nine, the guy of was them, there trying to take a phone call. Oh, I can't do it. I've got the biscuits. <laughs> I'm I'm like, so kind of, and it just so that's that's one of the reasons why I could not no, put it to I, an S. I can say I would have a agree. solid S or high A for me, in my opinion. Definitely an S. I'd S? say definitely a solid so- S. Yeah, solid S teetering on double S for it's me. Te- yeah. I say teetering, teetering double, double S. S. If, if it was one of those things where it's like, if this list was that you're only allowed one, then it would be a double S. I will say. If we're factoring in the Biscoff creams into Biscoff as a whole, like we did with cookies, I would say I would have to put Biscoff in double S. If, if, just if, because... Yeah, if it had gone to the point where I tried them and I was in agreements, I would 100% have probably put them in that as well. We will buy, I will, I will yeah. go to the shop tomorrow, buy some um, Biscoff creams, take them to Kyle's house, we'll do a taste test in the garden. You've got to, you've got to dip them in coffee. Is it dipping coffee? We'll, we'll okay. have a coffee. I will, I will go out of my way to have a coffee instead of a tea. And another <laughs> thing is, because w- one flaw of the regular Biscoff biscuit is that you dip them and then you wait, and they're just solid, 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 gone. And there's no in between. I've had the that. Cream, yeah. The cream holds them together really well, so it gets rid of that problem and adds a new layer to them. The Biscoff nice. actually betrayed me in that manner, because I dunked it, held it above my tea because I didn't want it to drip, and then it fell in when I turned around and didn't Ooh. look at my thing. It was Before, yeah. before we continue then, this is, this is something that I've seen people do, and it bothers me, and you just need to learn the right technique. So people dunk... And they leave it flat. To no, drain. Got up oh no, no, no you've no, got no. that angle. Vertical. Hold yeah, it vertical. Yeah. Let the drips come down the rest of the biscuit. Yep. And the structure of the biscuit yep. is perfectly fine. Even a rich tea. Yep. Even a rich tea. If you dunk that bad boy and hold it vertical, unless you dunked it for way too fucking long, it will hold its position. Yeah. Not it's to mention because it's because it's how you're holding it in like the tension on the yep. biscuit. With that's too yeah. much structural engineering also, here right now. <laughs> And it also catches that runaway drip because as soon yeah. as it hits the undunk portion, it just absorbs and you get no drips as well. It's mm-hmm. the best technique. Uh, we have all got a diploma in biscuit uh, engineering. <laughs> engineering. Engineering. <laughs> yeah. Right. These yeah. um these next ones, just because we are going quite close to time, I'm going to knock together all these ones. We're not going to discuss these ones. We're just going to say our ranks and mm-hmm. we'll put an average. So, it's one, two, three, four, five. They're all from the same family. Milk chocolate digestive. Mine would be a uh, A tier. A, C, C. Right. So B. That... Do B then. Put it in B. B. Okay. B. The next one. I don't know if you guys have had, but it's a chocolate chip digestive. 
never had one. Can't call I it. have not had one, but okay. I would go out on my... Oh, no, actually, I have, but it wasn't a McVitie's one. It was Mine a was, cheaper my, version. I've only ever had Tesco Zone Bread ones, and they're... Mm. they're Pretty bangers. I would, not as I good as a chocolate, but they're no, decent. I would have said a B, personally, but obviously... I'd say C, personally. I would have put C by default. Okay, we'll go with C. Oh, and the next one is the dark chocolate digestive. What did we put the milk at? We put the, the milk, milk at, B. at B. Now, for me, dark D. chocolate's better. I I'd say A. I'm not big on dark chocolate. I'm well, not that, a fan of the dark mm, chocolate digestive. I like some I dark chocolate like stuff, but the chocolate they yeah. use on the dark chocolate digestives is shit chocolate, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I would I would argue against that. So put it as a C if if that's okay, like a low so, C. So me and Ollie said D, you said A, was it? So that would yeah, be yeah, yeah. averaging out that would be a C. High that's C. Low C. And we got a double chuck digestive. I've not had them. Um, Never tried. I don't even know what they are personally. Chocolate digestive biscuit with chocolate topping. That sounds like too much. I'm... It's they're good, but there's if you eat in too many of them, there's too many. Yeah, of them. that sounds like, way too much. That'd be like an E. Probably for me. a C for me. Probably a I'd C. Say, I'd say it's definitely a C tier for me because okay, it's just we'll got like you. Ca- it's one of those ones where you can't eat too many of them. Yeah, and then caramel digestive. I'd say F. Oh yeah, that's as bad F. See, I'd argue I quite like them. But again, yeah, they're like they're not a ama- they're like they're not amazing, but they're a really good biscuit. It doesn't like. sound like a good combo. I don't know. It, it just sound like they go. It, I've, I've had good. them before, and it just it's 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 annoying. It's like I, d- I don't want something to be like a fucking margarita pizza as I'm e- as I'm eating it when it's a biscuit. So if you guys are saying F, I will say it's about a C. So we'll go with a D. E. D. D or I'll go E actually because we've said go two e. F's and a C. Two F's yeah. and a C's. So we'll go E. Yep. Right, we're gonna we're gonna do another quick one on the dark chocolate hot knob again. For me, that's an F. I'd say it's at least a uh, at least a C. So that's another E. E. (laughs) Right. Pink wafers are not a biscuit. Not not a fucking biscuit. Not a biscuit. They're vile anyway. They're disgusting. I don't even think they should be. I don't even think they should be considered as a fucking food. To be honest, I don't think they should be considered edible. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they, those need to get that up. Uh, go on. They're like they're like the uh, they're the wannabe party ring. They're always yeah. at parties, but like they never get eaten. And there's always that one weird kid who does eat them, and you're like, nobody goes near them. It's like, yeah, ah, you've eaten them. I know to avoid you. <laughs> well, I honestly believe that they deserve their own tier of not uh, trash, not a biscuit. <laughs> Shadow realm. <laughs> you, you see this? Yeah. You go to the middle class child's birthday party, and the the middle class child puts them out there purely so he can ask security to have you removed if you eat yeah, them. Yeah, it's it is it yeah. is the middle class trap they use. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go... We'll go through a few of these quick, because I don't know how you guys... I've There's a okay. few here that I've never had, and I don't know how much you've had of them. So, Viennese chocolate finger. I'm I'm abstaining. Banger. Ooh. Banger. Absolutely yeah. banger. I would, say, I would say a solid, a very strong A, if not an S. I'd say, yeah, it's an S. Definitely an S. Okay, yeah. we'll pop that one in very S. Versatile. Again, I abstain because mm-hmm. I've, I don't think I've ever had one of those from what i remember if i eat them i eat the pack <laughs> yeah they, they disappear yeah and well this one i think is literally only ryan that can talk about this one it's the brownie hobnob now hear me out this is like take the hobnob and actually completely convert it and turn it into something actually amazing the chocolate is like brownie chocolate like it actually tastes like a brownie but then, like the hobnobs, like it's soft, like a brownie as well. So, so it's what kind you're of, like, saying nice. is, it's not even a biscuit; it's a brownie. But it's a biscuit because no, it's no, a hobnob. Hold on. Biscuits can be soft. Yeah, no, yeah, you uh... can have soft biscuits. <laughs> For there example, is crunch is gingerbread is a... goes soft, but I yeah. still consider it a biscuit. Yeah. yeah, I would definitely say it's a, like at least a C. Like they weren't yeah. amazing because they get sickly, but definitely a C. Okay, we'll chuck it in there. Okay. We'll take your word for it. It's oh, a share it's pack. You get it, and then you have a couple each. You know what I mean? We like, still have don't a... have. We still don't have anything in D or F, which is kind of funny. <laughs> right. We're just all biscuit cretins. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. 
Garibaldi's. I've never had them. Gary Bowdy's. Never had one. Never had them. They, look, they are... look disgusting to me. D. D tier. What is I what actually are they? Are they like a weird Gary Bowdy's, type they're thing? the fruity ones. It's like a no, it's raisins and stuff. Oh, oh. No, that's an F then. Fucking F, hundred percent. Raisins are fucking actually, wild. I think I might Gary Baldy has uh currants squashed and baked between two thin oblongs of biscuit. That sounds disgusting. That's F. 100% F. See, it's like the biscuit version oh, of an Eccles cake, but it's shit. I know Garibaldi's. Yeah, they're grim. I, I would put those at an F. Mm. They're grim, isn't it? Ugh. It's like, if I, want, if I want to have a breakfast bar, I'll go and have a breakfast bar. Don't pretend mm. to be a biscuit. Now, yeah, Garibaldi's aren't a good one. We also have now here... Malted milks. Banger. Malted milks. Fucking love yeah, them. I, I Chocolate malted say... milks as well. Mm. Chocolate malted milk A, regular malted milk or a C for me. Yep, definitely. C. I, I really don't like malted milks. <laughs> Fair enough. The, it's the over, Kyle! <laughs> the, really... the regulars are pretty average. The regulars are pretty one, average, yeah. They're not, uh, they're not amazing. They're not awful. They're like a I've, C. I've, They've always been one of those things for me because I remember, like, if they were given to you by like an elderly person, it's like I ate them literally just to be kind to the elderly person. I fucking hate them. <laughs> Plastic milk, malted milk, I like them. So what? They're what are you good. guys? What were you guys saying? I'll go with your C. Words. C. C. I'll go C. Yeah. Okay. Can we throw them in a D because I fucking hate them, but I won't put okay. my rank D. on it massively. Yeah, we'll put them in high D. High D. <laughs> my 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 opinion on that one is very low compared to your two's, but like I'm not gonna. <laughs> no, that's fine. Now this is another weird one that Ryan threw in there: the digestive cream. Never tried them. They're fucking awful. <laughs> sounds awful. Trash. I mean, it it's sounds trash. fucking disgusting. It sounds bad. Do it sounds like trash. It is. The fuck's going through that? I don't know who it was who made it. They just sat there and they're like, oh, we need to get on this golden crunch cream thing. So they basically made a, a crunch cream sized digestive biscuit with cream in the middle of it. The digestive isn't as good as a normal digestive. It's like cheap digestive. And oh, the cream like... tastes like shit. <laughs> uh, it was vile. It was <laughs> awful. I had to wash it down with like a packet of... Um, I had like some Lebans or some with me that I was eating. <laughs> well, that's in trash. Now, yeah, <laughs> the chocolate crunch cream is not Banger. as good as the crunch. Not cream. as good as golden. Yeah, never, uh, never had one. So it's, I wouldn't say S. I would say A because they're I'd say good, a. but a. Again, they're on the same kind of level of I cannot eat the whole packet because they no, get sick. It's too much. It's too much. So yeah. The, yeah. The, the chocolate crunch creams, the one you give to your kids to introduce them to crunch creams, and then they'll slowly move up to the superior the, the superior crunch, crunch cream. <laughs> and then when you start getting old and a bit dilapidated, you know, you fall into bits, then you have the ginger crunch creams, which are fucking vile. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I, li I like ginger on most accounts, but I didn't put them in this list because I know they're an old person biscuit. But I That's like what them. I mean. It's, 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 a, it's an age tier. So you have your double, cho like, your double chocolate crunch creams or whatever as a kid. You know, that's sweet, chocolatey. Kids love chocolate. Then you get to your golden crunch cream, which is a more refined and adult taste. Going with the theme of ginger, not ginger we have... The ginger nuts. Mm, I now, respect is, it as a biscuit, but I don't is, go out my way to eat it. This B is one of those. This me. is one of those things where I could understand if, on a flavour perspective and standard texture kind of profile, people would say between D to B. But the reason why I believe they're a bit higher than that is because ginger nuts are actually really, really good if you're ill. Because the ginger yeah. in them ginger really, really helps. So, I would personally be saying between B and A, because the amount of times I've had ginger nuts when I felt like shit and been okay the next day. See, 
I'm not a fan of the ginger in the biscuit, like flavour. I'll eat ginger and other stuff. Like we have ginger spice pork and it's fucking gorgeous, but I won't eat ginger biscuits. I'm not, they're not my thing. I'd say C. I respect them as a biscuit, but they're not my deal. It's solid B for me. Are we okay with that going in B then? Because yeah. I would say between yeah. B and A. <laughs> I respect it for its medicinal uh, qualities. Medicinal yes. qualities. <laughs> <The> healing. <laughs> but I, I would never eat a ginger nut biscuit in my life. I fucking... <laughs> <laughs> now, the next two we'll do together. They're separate, but we'll talk about them together because I detest both of them. Um, okay. We Well, I don't detest one of them, but I detest the second one. So we've got shortbread and fruit shortbread. Fruit shortbread. Okay. Fruit shortbread, no. Fuck that shit. Trash. Fruit shortbread trash, trash. is fucking trash. Instant trash. That just sounds like a way to ruin shortbread. I didn't know that they'd put fruit in shortbread, but they can fuck off with that. Well, I, yeah. think, I think I miswrote it down here. I put fruit shortcake <laughs> rather than but shortbread. For, <laughs> for short, just shortbread, regular shortbread, I'd say an A for me. Fucking A, yeah. See, now, I learned to I make don't... that shit at school. I made it again. It's fucking banger. It's See, easy now, to make. The thing, the thing nice with, to dip. Yeah, the thing with shortbread for me is I've never really been a fan of just shortbread. I I don't re- I I I appreciate it, but it's always been the ones I've had have always either been a bit too buttery or too flaky. I don't quite get it. Then... But I understand they're a good base because Sainsbury's, I think, the bakery do shortbread cookies. Boy, are yeah, they fucking shortbread good cookies. shortbread cookies. Shortbread cookies are good, but also um, at our work, we used to have like this little charity box that you put money in and take something out of, and we used to have this Highland Bakery shortbread in these little packets. Little fingers, I think there was ten fingers in a packet, and to dip into the vending machine coffee, they were fucking lovely, so solid A for me. Yeah, definitely an A for shortbread. Okay, I, Short, I'm, fruit I'm, shortbread, I'm, trash. Not, oh, that's trash in trash. The... It's in trash. In- I, fruit I'm... in biscuits is illegal. Yes. Yeah. I am. I'm more than happy to put shortbread in a because even though I don't like shortbread as a standard, I do understand the uh, applications of the shortbread, so to say. You can yeah. respect the biscuit. You I can think respect the just, biscuit. Just um, just briefly on the whole, fruit in biscuits, um, debacle and issues. There's nothing worse than picking up a cookie. Thinking it's chocolate, and it's fucking raisins. Oh, yeah, but the if you're the sick bastard who commits these war crimes <laughs> by putting mixing them on plates sh- at parties, fuck you. It, honestly, yeah. it sh- it should be written. It, it should be written into the Geneva suggestion that fruit yeah. and biscuits is not allowed. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Sir, sir, we've it, got a case of the Iranians dropping fruit biscuits on the Iraqis. Honestly, Get me, the tomahawk. Fr- <laughs> fruit, fruit in biscuits is the same as landmines. It's just an, it's an indiscriminate weapon. It doesn't matter who's looking for it. <laughs> they find you and they're just fucking, you know, they don't, they don't pick who they attack. You stumble onto them. I just, I love how serious you are. Fruit and biscuits is like landmines to me. <laughs> it was just the yeah. seriousness. This is a serious situation, Kyle. Yeah. You need to take this serious. They're hidden. They're like, a, as you said, you can hide them in a in a bowl of or a plate of chocolate oh, chip cookies. They're like and assassins hidden it. in plain sight. They are. <laughs> Hold they on, are. boys. Hold on, boys. Wait a second. What I've just received a message from my. She has no power here, and she has no voice here. She sent me a message saying, "But fruit biscuits are so not." No, Jay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, It's over. Yeah, Jay, um, (laughs) I'm breaking up with you for him. (laughs) I'm sorry, Jay, but your your opinion is wrong. (laughs) You're being sent to the gulag. We're going to go to to Brazil. We're going to go into now two biscuits that you only see. Let me just try and get this camera to like focus and shit because it's all being fucking well, whatever. Okay. I don't care. So two biscuits which you only really see in like multi-pack type stuff. We have the nice biscuit and the Hovis bread digestive. Now, Hovis bread well, digestive with butter on it. I cannot deny. 
the status of biscuit for the hove is spread digestive. However, it socializes with crackers. <laughs> it's it's a cracker with an identity problem. No, no, no. It's a biscuit with an identity problem because it is a biscuit that wants to be a cracker. It's yeah, the it ugly duckling of the the uh, cracker barrel. Yes. For me, it's it's a crap biscuit. And it's an average cracker. See, I, I, I like saw... putting butter on it. I'm not going to lie. I think they're really nice. <laughs> See, I've actually found... Because let's face it, obviously, not, not all biscuit is made equal and not all digestive is made equal when you compare the different ones from different companies and different places. McVitie's is definitely one of the highest grades for them. Um, and then you have like own brand ones in different stores which all have their own different kind of variation. But the Hovis Bread Digestive has always been one of those I like the way you look, but you only taste average. It's a good looking biscuit, it's well presented. Mm. But for me, it's only ever in the Tupperware box next to the Jacob Cream Crackers, and I will never touch it. Cream them. Crackers are the, the superior. I've, yeah. It's weird, you like the first time you open it up as a kid, like in your experience, you go. Why is there the a biscuit? What is a digestive doing in here? <laughs> yeah, literally, like it's just it's just can a misplaced we... biscuit. Yeah, can I think then we've all kind of gone for a middle of the road, lower middle of the road. I'm going it's more a D for a D. me. I, I can't probably say it because there's nothing actually wrong with it. Yes, I but say there's nothing good about it. It needs no category, which is called identity crisis <laughs> if we could add yeah. more categories we would but we have maxed out the categories after we after oh we podcast, do it on the website yeah well I'm, I'm doing it in a notepad at the minute and then after this i'm going to make it on the website so we can tweet it out is there because a category that, would... that we didn't use no we've used all of them at the moment even like f did yep, we actually put them f because gallibald is well, yeah. in f Put Gary Baldi's in trash, change F to Identity Crisis. <laughs> what, specifically for the Hovis Bread well, Digestive? Let's let's put it this way. None of us eat the Gary Baldi because it's got fruit in it, so it's trash. Okay, Put that in the even trash. Even though I feel like it should go in not a biscuit, even though it is a biscuit. That, that's, why, that's why I vote for adding a new category called Identity Crisis. Because in spirit, it is not a biscuit. <laughs> it's no, it's... It's it's a transactional biscuit. It's it's no, it's a transactional biscuit. It's a cracker trapped in a biscuit's body. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going through the transition, bro. I've turned it hey. into a cracker. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm sorry if that's offensive. That's just an analogy we've used. It's not offensive. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. We're happy to put it in Identity Crisis, then. <laughs> I, okay. We're definitely making one called Identity Crisis. Yeah. Just okay. for that what one. What was the other one? I mean, nice, another one. The Nice Biscuit. Now, the Nice Biscuit for me is a D, and there's a reason for that, because I do like the Nice Biscuit. It's got a nice flavour. I like the, the sugar sprinkled on it. I like that it has its name on it for some reason. It's just in but case you forget what you're eating. They are deceptively fibrous and get in your teeth you bite into them expecting them to be like almost like a, a drier crunchier biscuit yeah and they they've got this kind of they're not quite they're kind you look at them and they think they're like shortbread but they actually have this like kind of fibrousness to them yeah. that gets in your teeth like hobnob i think the issue that i'm i agree with d mainly because they're not too sweet, but they're not sweet enough at the same time. If yeah. you understand what I mean, when no, I get you. Because like you'll eat them, and sometimes it's like, oh, that's too much. But then you chomp on them, and it's like, oh, this is dry now. And the flavorless. sugar hits you, and you think, oh, this is sweet. But then you get to the biscuit, and they're pretty Bland. like they're almost. So sometimes they even have a slight saltiness to them. Yeah, it's the like part. it's 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 like they can't quite get the sweet savory together. It's like. You, it's like a one-two punch where it punches you with a sweet, but then it doesn't follow straight up with a savory. It just waits and then gets you with the do. savory. Yeah, it, it waits, then grabs your head and fucking knees you in the face. <laughs> now, yeah. if we hadn't just got rid of F for identity crisis, I would put it in F because it lies. 
<laughs> it says nice on it, but it ain't fucking nice, is it? It's, it's, it's a shit just okay. It. They should just say all. They should just be called all right biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, just uh, just complete. Meh. <laughs> yeah, complete. You know, false advertising. Like you're like, oh, ignoring this looks nice. Ignoring the lies, though, Ryan. Where would you put it? I'd, I'd the say lies? D. I'd say D. D. I think that's yeah, all, I, of I, us, I, I, all of us have agreed on that one. Then it's just it's. I won't go out of my way to buy it. No. Now we've got two more. Okay. One of them, I think we all kind of agree on. Shut up. So we'll save that one for last to kind of leave on a high point. Okay. Custard cream. Yes. A. And I don't even like them, but I respect that they have such a high standing that I'm putting them in A. I, I don't even like I them. agree with the S, because as much as they sometimes can be a bit too much, dunking a custard cream in tea on a nice day is just... <laughs> Custard creams are a versatile and respectable biscuit. That no no respectable biscuit person could even if they didn't like the taste of them could say they're even a bad like biscuit. Them. Exactly. But yeah, you I don't even like that... them, but I respect them. Yes, and that's 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 the <laughs> thing about the custard cream. The the status of the custard cream is respected by all. <laughs> you know, at the end of uh, the first Anchorman film, where he has the uh, he, the uh, Chase Ma- West Mantooth has Ron Burgundy on the ladder, and he's like, "God, I hate you, but God damn, I respect you." And I ki- and he kisses him on the forehead. That's me with custard creams. <laughs> <laughs> you kiss the custard cream, and then you go, "Uh, I actually hate the taste of you." <laughs> Pretty no, much, he just yeah. he goes, and then he passes it to Danny instead. <laughs> yeah, I give it to someone who actually wants it. <laughs> <laughs> That's at least the, the respect is good there because you may not like them, but you aren't going to throw them away. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm like. I will just. If I open the biscuit drawer and I see them there, I'll just go. That's for someone else. You. The thing is, if you don't like them, but you get them, you know somebody's gonna have them when they come to your house. Yeah. Yes. You. You could put. Let's face it. You could put them on a plate. Like, say you've got a big old party, hundred people come in, and you got a load of buffet stuff. You can be damn straight when the buffet opens. If there's custard creams on that buffet. They'll go very, very, very quickly. All I can think to... of is in our buffet just being fucking biscuits. <laughs> no, no, who the be... fuck? Who the fuck put fucking digestives from the Ovis box on here? It's a cracker. <laughs> the cracker buffet is that way, you fuckers. <laughs> a cheese and biscuits. It'd be like someone would sneak in a Garibaldi, and I'd just walk over, just get the plate. <laughs> 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 Just grab it and crush it in your hand. Yeah. No, you that'd be the, that, that would be the Jaffa cake that was like, I love these, but this is the wrong space. Yeah. <laughs> the cakes here. are that way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, segregation of the biscuit and cake world. <laughs> so what, what are we putting custard cream? I guess I will I, allow you guys to put it in S. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I was thinking S because, like you said, you respect it even though you don't like it, and me and Ryan are yeah. big fans. And now we come to the final biscuit. By no means the greatest or the worst. The Leibniz chocolate biscuit. Fucking greatest. Double S. Don't don't know what that is. So you've definitely seen them because they're in every fucking Tesco. Let me look them up. Let me look them up. But I I pretty much 100% agree with you, Ryan. The Leibniz chocolate biscuit is the it's the perfect 50 50 amount yeah because like at first you kind of think oh there's it's a little a bit, bit too, too much, much chocolate, chocolate but it's you think, this are. is pushing on like chocolate bar territory yeah but then you have it and you're like actually no somehow they made it so it they made works. it so it's the perfect amount in my opinion i have had them i know what they are now yep I hate to say it, but I've only put them in a B. Really? I think they've got a, a, a perfect biscuit to chocolate ratio. The biscuit isn't very nice. Okay. I don't think the biscuit part's very good. The chocolate's good. Mm. The biscuit is average. 
I yeah. think I think that's a respectable point. The biscuit definitely isn't as like high quality as others. Mm. I think it's I a well think... structured biscuit. Yeah. yeah. Now, have you and guys ever cho- have you good chocolate? Have you guys ever dunked them in tea? Yeah, I am not a dunker. Banger. Oh, I know you're. I know you're not a dunker. Sorry, but yeah, I I do like them. The only issue is you can't dunk them the instant you pour your tea. Dude, that shit will melt <laughs> because yeah, you end say, up like... with melted chocolate in your tea yeah, that's because the, it's that's too hot. <laughs> okay, so. I think then, because obviously me and Ryan were saying like double S, you were saying like a B. Are we B. good with doing that between A and S, S kind of thing? Low S, low S, high A, yeah. Low S, high A. Okay. Yeah, so I'd say low I'll, S. I'll chuck that in S then, because I do, I mean, I've got a feeling if Becky was not afraid to run in and interrupt the podcast, she'd probably run in and say it was a double S as well. <laughs> Although her opinion doesn't matter here. <laughs> she should be seen and not heard. I just heard her shout something. One moment. What? She, she just shouted and says, You what? <laughs> okay, so Silent let's... woman! <laughs> you should only be seen! So we will go... I'll go from the bottom all the way to the top and we'll go through how we have a tier list. This is... Okay. The definitive tier list. This is to be written in stone for the ages. Yeah. Battles have been Marble. fought for this tier. And we have finally found the scroll of truth about this tier list. And anyone who disagrees must understand they have to fight monkey. <laughs> monkey. So, not even a biscuit. Jaffa cake and pink wafers the fuck are you playing at yeah trash is the jammy dodger the digestive creams the fruit short bed and the garibaldis garibaldis i love how you do the fucking accent for the garibaldis that's <laughs> <laughs> just uh, ga- ga- garibaldis <laughs> garibaldis garibaldis and then we have a very particular tier the identity crisis the Hovis bread digestive. Hopefully he will understand, or they will understand, their position in life soon. But at this moment Poor in time, they're, they're still confused. And My sympathies to Hovis. Our hearts go out to Hovis with this one. In we hope E-tier, they get the help they need. <laughs> in the E tier, we have the hobnobs, the caramel digestives, and the dark chocolate hobnobs. In the D tier, we have malted milk, and nice biscuits. And then, in C tier, we have the BN, the milk chocolate hobnobs, the chocolate tip digestives, the dark choc digestives, the double choc digestives, and the brownie hobnobs. All just stand the middle of the road stuff. We're now going into the higher echelons. We have B. Digestives, rich tea, bourbon, milk chocolate digestives, and ginger nuts. For the medicinal purposes. <laughs> You want a survival kit for the end of the world? Ginger nuts. Fucking ginger nuts in there. (laughs) You fucking go to like a fucking medical box on the wall. It's just ginger nuts. Quick, get the ginger nuts. It's ginger nuts. It's the defibrillator. You get it out. You wrap it, unwrap the defibrillator, and it's just two fucking ginger nuts on the end of panels. It's not even even that. It's this. There's you get it. You open it up. There's a defib. There's some paracetamol. There's some paper towels. Paper. There's some paper towels in water. There's a bottle of Lucasade and some ginger nuts. <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of Lucasade. <laughs> what? It's like everyone buys fucking Lucasade when they're real because oh, the glucose will help you. <laughs> like, no, it'll just make me shake with energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now we're into the A tier. Getting pretty good. Can't have a party without them. Party rings. The chocolate luck, crunch cream rings. and the versatile shortbread. Mm. Well done, shortbread. Well done. I'm, I'm I'm in, again, I respect the same with you with um, um, custard creams, Ollie. I respect the shortbread. Yeah. Now, we're coming to the real champions here. S tier, we have Oreos. Hats off to Oreos. The Biscoff, he may be hipster, but damn fucking He's good. He's fucking tasty. 
we have the Viennese chocolate finger, which I still need to try. <laughs> the respectable, all biscuit people will understand, custard cream. And the how did they get this combination to work so well, Leibniz chocolate. And now we have to stand to attention. We are moving to the upper echelons of society here. We we must understand now. This is a very hallowed area we walk in SS tier. This is a sacred area. This is sacred land where we have the crunch cream. And I salute it. The cookie. Is that literally it? Is that all that's in SS? Hallowed ground. Hallowed ground. My liege. My liege. Saint cookie. <laughs> saint cookie and saint that, crunch cream. To me, cookies <laughs> are on the same social standing as pizza. Everyone likes it. Yes. Everyone likes some kind of cookie or some kind of pizza. Yes. It has an emoji, for fuck's sake. That's how upper echelon the cookie is. Yes. Is that it has an emoji. That's all you need to know about cookie. Yes. A hundred percent. And with that, we have the tier list. We You're welcome. We I fought... really wish I had a trumpet right now. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I got nothing. We've um we've done this exhaustive research of uh, just this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Hmm. And the, we will be tweeting this and the whole phrase will literally be this is the tier list. Fuck you, fight me. Yeah. <laughs> This is the tier list. We... Fuck you, Jay. Any... <laughs> <laughs> Any sort of anti-tier list words and um, debauchery will be uh, met with a UN authorized airstrike. <laughs> a, dro- a drone Ex- strike. Extreme prejudice use of the tomahawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't like our biscuits? Sending the fucking tomahawks, kid. <laughs> But I think with that, we have come to the end. It's, uh, I'm still reeling from the hallowed ground of double S tier right now. But I've been, Kyle, joined with the trash man who has good tasting biscuits, Ryan. And the shooty boy, Rare Gacha, who also has good tasting biscuits, Ollie. We'd like to thank everyone for listening everyone for watching and we'll see you later